in whatever direction I hit. Jeez. Look at that nonsense. There's a reason I lost, but well, they're all frozen. Super hard now. Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors 244. 244, and we're on into Gallo Tower with Conchetta, whatever her last name is. As usual, I hit Silent Old Sanctuary. Well, you're going for this little weapon. Uh, da, da, da. He's hanging out the weapons. There it is. Prism loss. Yep, we're tripling up on the wings evolutions this time around. Oh, that's loud. Oh, that's the same volume as I always have. Okay, is that caught on the Elgato? Well, the Fidago does keep me kind of safe in the front. It's not the Celestial Bold yet. Still, empty tome. Oops. Oh, that was faster than I would have preferred. Blast it. Blast them all with a big old bulge in. Wings of Freedom. Alright, this is going okay so far, but later on we know it's going to turn. Turn hard. Well, let's make them bigger for now. Yep. Endless scaling on the... Area, area, area. They got so big. Do I have some consideration as to what could be doing later? First up, I should go after the dang Atlanteans. I am swift enough to do that. The obviously going to be Boogaloo for the second and Awake for the third. Those final waves are still going to be rough. Aha! I can protect myself with Shadow Pinion. Your bullets have no effect on her. And the sheer speed means you're getting blasted away with no issue. Bam. Towers have been conquered. Unjetted. And the mage lasted no time at all. Silent Old Sanctuary is gonna sanctuary that old silently. Yep, that's totally words. Speaking of words, I inexplicably had a notification on the same day I'm recording this, which is the day before it goes up. I had a comment deleted on YouTube, and it's like, what? Like, clearly it's nothing posted on my own videos. I don't get enough views for that to happen. So it has to be something I post on, like, a holo video. But, like, those comments would have been, like, super bottom of the barrel. That no one should be able to have found, because it's so low. And even if it was, what could I possibly have said to do that? I can think of precisely one comment that could remotely be construed as well. It said hate speech, and it's like, what? When have I ever said anything remotely resembling hate speech? And it's just baffling because there's no way to check what comment it was. And trying to search on Google is not helpful. Oh, hey, it is you. Thought maybe you were like a random event, Atlantan.
Yeah, get all them shadow pinions. See, the cap is a thousand area. So with Benchetta, you would only need reach level 500 once you get Boogaloo of Illusion. So 501, really. Took it from the start. Clearly, something I'm way on track for. Hmm, it's having way longer than I thought. Wait, I should just stay still. Now I should really stay still. Yeah, that figures. 113 area. 113 area. Come on, boss. Let me evolve. Let me evolve. And she should be swift enough to head down to the other Atlanteans. But eventually there's just going to be too much in the way. And she'll be stopped dead by the sheer bulk of the enemy force. Okay, they aren't breaking through even this. Hmm. Ah, oh, Starburst, of course you exist. Ten minute, where you at, Harpy? Oh, I didn't get to see you show up. Valkyrie Tuner. Turner. Is that also a Valkyrie profile reference? Someone brought it up in one of the other videos. Hey, there's the mirror to rescue herself. Huh. Timely. Come on, Atlantean. Oh, there's my boo of illusion, so I should go grab that right now. Oh, for the boogaloo of illusions. Kind of 18. Not that helpful, but funny. And I get two area per level. That's crazy amount of area per level. More evolution. Oh yeah, it's time to do the time warp. Amount one is good amount. Um, maximize the area, guys. Yeah. Well, duration. Speed doesn't really do anything for Time Wolf, does it? Hey, more mount. Well, that should have been... Might. Time Warp's really gonna be the killer here. Valkyrie Turner's about to be sidelined. Why did I get that over Valkyrie... Or time Warp? There we go. And to think. Because it's so big and it's going to be up constantly, you can constantly see it get... <laughs> oh, it's so large. It's actually going to get so big it's problematic as enemies will start spawning inside its perimeter. That was not an evolution chest, that was an old timey chest. Make that area even bigger. And bigger until the end of time. Well, I might be on track for the 100k. Area, area, area. Now I can go random always.
I mean, it'll result in less area, but who cares? I'll level up faster. Imagine how bad it would be. Oh man, it's killing so fast that they're still in square formation. Eventually it'll be so large. I can't see any of it on the screen. It does extend off screen the hitboxes and stuff. Look at all them square gem formations. They aren't even getting to move. Not even like her ultimate damage is that high either. It just scales wildly out of control. Hey, a vacuum. That's helpful. Enemies haven't... They can barely spawn in correctly. They're dying so quickly. She's gonna break 100k before 20 minutes. Oh, that's hilarious. Truly the actual highest kill character. Hey, instead of just being a burst, it's in a stream again. And I have Valkyrie Turner. It doesn't really matter because between the both of these... And heck, if I had, uh, what is it, Out of Bounds? Ice explosions, they would be suffering even worse. I don't think the... Oh, right. Other stuff exists. Ooh, am I gonna get the time warp so big it's not even on screen? There's a red gem, finally. That was about 30 more levels. That was an Atlantean lasting about half a second. Mmm, golden egg. Ah, just square gems everywhere. Yep, the time warp has gotten so large it's not even on screen anymore. Amazing. And they're landing down. Here's a preview clip for you. That better be the biggest red, or the biggest dang thing of all time. Who knew that Conchetta would be the secret kill queen? None of it is in Valkyrie Tuner. It's all on Time Warp. And the final wave should still... Well, no, they're going to be frozen, so maybe Out of Bounds would be better. More damage. Faster damage. And heck, anything that gets through is going to be frozen or defanged along the way. And I've got two... revives. I want to get that kill count even higher. Uh oh. Oh, hey, it's a drowner with the fanged water. Huh. I mean, it'll still do damage in some, some sort of stage effect. I don't know. I think I might be. I should be strong enough to get through. Right. Not like I can record all the videos. Get all the footage done for today, anyway. For this full video, anyway. Even if I do fall, because I didn't get awake. Eh. Let's be spooky. Out of bounds, blow them all up. Hopefully that makes the kill even better. Imagine if she had endless damage scaling too. It'd be unstoppable.
Oh, what? When did I get hit? How could I have gotten hit? Did I run into drowner water or something? No. No, that was clearly a mistake. Yeesh. I don't know how far she's gonna get, but it's a very impressive run. All things considered. I can imagine how crazy this will get on this Foscari set up correctly. Wow, the claws somehow lasted longer than the main body. They're done so badly, they aren't even spawning in anymore. Oh, and the Celestial Vault activated, so it's even worse. I need to find a vacuum somewhere. There's going to be hundreds of thousands worth of XP. Lying on the ground somewhere. Oh, there's a vacuum. Yay, vacuum. Well, that clearly wasn't right. Eh, it's annoying when vacuum doesn't actually, you know, get all the XP. Wow. You survived on screen. That was impressive. Almost 500 area. And Boogaloo means it's even bigger. Laser blasts. The funny thing is, I've actually had even bigger area than this. I once had the flames so large they blotted out the entire screen. And I lost. On Gala Tower, the final wave. It was crazy. But I have time warp and, well, that's basically going to win by itself. Man, there's just been no vacuum spawned in at all. In whatever direction I hit. Jeez. Look at that nonsense. There's a reason I lost, but, well, they're all frozen. Super hard now. I'm flipping 200,000 kills. 200,000. Well, I was on non-hurry mode. You know, nice paced mode. That'd have easily been over 500k. Ah, quitting time. Only 73 million for the time warp despite that ridiculous number of kills for the situation. And hey, Valkyrie Tuner, Turner did 40 million itself. Pretty good, but Time Warp was obviously stealing the show there. It got them breathless. Time to start boning around with Mortachio Mount Moon Spell. Never a good sign when it starts on the character. These are not things I want, that is though. Wow, you've got really sticky. Okay. Maybe I should just overfocus on Rune Tracer or something. Da -da -da. That means more Rune Tracers. Right, it's duration and speed. Oh, a bunch of light sources. That's very helpful. And of course, I finally get the chicken when I don't actually need it. Go figure, eh? Oh, I can't evolve Room Tracer. Because I don't have armor. I can evolve the Bible, I'm eventually going to get to Unholy Vespers because I do have that. Spellbinder. Shooters, are you kidding me?
Man, you just have the worst luck with pickups, don't you, Mortachio? Like, it's absolutely atrocious how no light source ever seem to spawn in for you. And if I did have Bible, this would have been cutting up them nice and well. And giving me a no- Wow, luck. What a rare occurrence. Got a good number of room tracers going. And I've got my first amount in... Oh, it's only it's every 20 levels. Right, right, right. Here's King Bible, finally. Get Rune Tracer up. Can't evolve, but it can still do stuff. Bones up. Eyes can be. Good, good, good. Double War Logan. That's, that'll be good for the final sections. Bible. Bible can evolve. Do I have the chest? Is it on the field yet? There's all my levels, finally. No, the chest from the ghost didn't drop. So I have to wait for 10 minutes in. Well, I do have two things that aren't going to be... Wait, does Bones still stay when it goes Anima? When he goes Anima? Well, I suppose I'll see. Much, much better. Of course, I only got this far thanks to double luck from... Random events. Pet and light sources. All right, good, good. This is the first real check of your damage and survivability, and Mortachio is surviving it. So it's the 100 hits the, from the bone? That seems so high. Well, is that double NFT? Hmm, I'm gonna let my window open. Maybe I heard something outside. Yeah, it's definitely for something from outside. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know if Bone gets replaced by Anima, or if it still stays there when the Anima goes. I'm actually gonna have to go full Rune Tracer. Okay, I got Chicken Fort and two Orlogans. Plus, those will keep me safe, so I can go grab the third one later. It's gonna be very important. Very important. Not surviving that final wave. Crab battle. Crab battle. Crab battle. Crab battle. Oh, wait. Evolution. Nice. I can random always. Wait, no, I can... Hmm. I still do have the possibility of getting... Well, I have to keep this up till I go anima. Just to make sure. Ooh, sweet amount. Well, I can also get Candy Box 2 Turbo, though, considering the luck usually has. Ah, just in case, Speed 5 isn't going to be as much as one amount, even, for the time I've got going. I mean, it shouldn't take... Why did I take that? No matter what, that was going to be a worse option. Well, no matter what, Unholy Vespers is the one that's stain. I can Candy Box 2 Turbo and the Anima might consume the bone, though it shouldn't from what I remember. Because the Anima should be a separate thing. But you never know. You never know. Well, really. 
I should have known. Hmm. I know you're looking for Miang Stalker, but she's not here. Uh oh. Why are you so slow all of a sudden? Wait, what? Oh, right, duh, I can't evolve anymore. What am I thinking about anyway? All I would get were candy, but be candy boxes. Yeah, more room tracer in. The very least, the unholy vespers are a nigh unstoppable buzzsaw. I've gotten a lot of them out. I've gotten, what, two amount from limit breaking room tracer? It's just quite a bit firing off now. You basically would be safe till the final waves. Well, barring starbursts and other stuff. So what do I want for my other arcana? Hmm. Lost and found painting wouldn't be the worst. Everything here gets the benefit of duration. Boogaloo, also an option. Their bonde not too helpful. Orologian, out of balance from Orologian spawn since I will be get using that to get through the end. Hmm. Chaos in the Dark Knight. I know, I think the duration from Lost and Found Paintings, the call here. Then obviously Awake on the Third. Oh, there it is. I almost re rolled it. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Duration, my, 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 my area. Oops. Yay, more amount. Yeah, the regulars are not getting. Okay, that's four Orologians on the map. That's good. I can grab this one, then grab the other two, then grab the one in the house, and that should be more than enough time to get through to the end. And I'm of Mortashio. Yeah, it overtakes the bone. Unfortunate. But now I have health, I have armor, I have move speed. And I smack things hard, like a rock. Hmm, moon spell. It's still dangerous. Still dangerous. Speaking of dangerous. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I don't know where I'm going with anything other than away. Oh, hey, Room Tracer. Or vacuum. I should just rain them always. Oh, uh, what was that thought I was having earlier? Yeah, it was a response to watching someone's Holo Cure run. And just like the idea of like sort of having. You know how, like, you can pick your Arcana from the fullest at the start and just having that for a weapon or a passive? So that way you don't have to re-roll a start till you get the item you want, like, 50 times. Wow, it's five Orologians on the map. Endgame's gonna be nothing. Speaking of Endgame... Man, that was such a good movie. I should go watch it sometime. 
And I watched not a single one after. Oh, lambing. Lambing them tangoos. You and the Tengu can't get in, that's a good sign for later. Speaking of good signs, a treasure chest. Really, Drowner? Stalker and Drowner in one run? What awful luck. Ooh, 126 duration does quite a bit. Oh, right. I should not go running upwards. You're far more threatening on maps that have terrain issues, huh? Or, well, where you can't go up. Also, you're going down for some reason, and it's strange. Also, you're still here. Oh, you were only supposed to be summoned for one minute, and this is clearly a second minute you're moving into. So perhaps I miscounted. We shall see once that timer hits 21. Oh, did he just throw out his arms? Usually the map's not clear enough for when that kind of thing happens. I would just slam things around him, not slam things everywhere. Huh. The more you learn, the more you realize that you're an ignorant savage and should never have left your mother's womb. Wow, where did that come from? There's your chest. Alright, this is a good showing. And really, I probably should have chosen a bonus stage or a, another type of stage. Because he's done... This will actually be his fifth regular stage stage done. His... I mean, probably. Alright. Heck. Man, those ribs are looking funky. Not that I expect fully accurate rib cages in a video game, but still, that looks weird now that I'm staring at it. Oh, maybe I should go beat up his brothers. Oh, right. I should get the very valuable other Arcana chest and, you know, survive. Oh, got one of the Orologians, dang it. Well, I have so many, it shouldn't really be a problem with Awake, but still. Just get another one. Well, I'm really close. Did I just pop three of them? Oh, what terrible positioning. There goes a lot of my safety for the end game. And there's a Rochi. Oh, can I just circle you? Well, I can half circle you. Semi circle you. No trouble with that. Alright, a Rochi toasted. Really toasted. Roshi boned. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. No oh, man, I none of the Aurora Logans are 
here and there's yet another drowner showing up. Hey, Candle Labrador. And with uh, what's on the map, I probably could have fully done nothing. Hey, Big Rod Gem. You're going to last till 28, which is bad because I need to go down to those other Orologians now. Well, at least I can go to the left. Find myself vertically with them, at least. Wait, 27 isn't so bad. 28. 28's when the big bad Onis start showing up. The weird back spider things that I never really remember the name of. Well, on the other hand, it's going very well. No, it's the wind spirits and the snake backs things. The fire backs. Fire back! Oh, dang it, I got too close. The other one's... Okay, I can see it. It's right there. There'd be no issue grabbing it. All those dang Oni show up. Which will be now. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's stopping the Oni. They can't break the skeleton man. They've been boned. They've been boned over, over, and over again. Ah, it's so weak so early on, but... Once it came together, not even this got a hit off. Oh no, death. For a skeleton? Now how does that make any sense? Oh man, Rune Tracer outdid Anima. Well, Anima had no time and it was catching up because DBS is DBS. Time to backtrack for Cavello to, you're not Cavello. Volo to do Capella Magna. We'll be horsing around. And hopefully it's done in one try. Because I am really tightening the screws to make sure that I'm the most efficient I can be. Cherry Bomb scales best with luck. So that's why Santa Javelin is here. Armadillo. Armadillo, that empty tome. Well, cooldown is better for her more efficiently. Anything's things. Man, their damage is so low compared to this stuff on Mount Moon Spell. Kinda crazy. There's my clover. Explode. Explode all of you cherry bombs. Oh, hey, Blade Crossbow also evolves. Oh. I mean, it showed up before Heaven Sword, so... Or Cross did, so... Plus, it gives me the weapon pickup. Yay, weapon pickup. And make it bigger with Daniel Labrador. The mount also would have been good. Probably would have been better, in fact. Still, it is going to be nice and simple. And really, I should be focusing on Santa Javelin first to get up to Serific Cry. Oh, I need a clover for that, too. Like always... It is not counted, the weapon pickup, since it just works differently. Hmm. Cool down. It's really going to be focused on the Surfic Cry and the Sand Javelin. It takes quite a bit of time for Cherry Bomb to pop off like it should. So, Empty Tome, Candle Labrador, and Luck. Which exists, so it should not have banished it. That boy does not want to show up, huh? Oh, there's that Aura Logan over there. That's nice and safe. Blam! Two Santa Jalons right away. No, Empty Tome is still great, but... You ought to get that Santa Jalon up so I can get that chest there. The faster I get the Serific Cry, the better. Hey, there's another chest. The sooner I can get that BFC, the better. Wow, you just don't want to give me anything but Empty Dome and Gandalf Labrador and Jerry Bomb. 
That's so strange. Normally you're longing for Empty Tome to show up, but it just doesn't. Alright, so there's two chests on the ground. That means I can get both of them evolved as soon as I can level them up. There's Clover Max, and I just need to make that Empty Tome. Santa Javelin, Empty Tome is already maxed out. And there's the Serific Cry. Cry havoc, and let's slip the dogs of victory. Or the horse of victory, yeah, that makes more sense. I know. BBZ characters in Vampire Survivors. Amehameha. Oh, play crossbow. Oh, I got that eye on the Kin Labrador. And the BFC a BFC in. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. Haven't popped either of my revives. Uh well, the only thing that scales lock is Wicked Season, and that's a big nope. Hey, a Rosary. Alright, time to BFC it up. Since I do know now for a guaranteed fact that going Anima will overtake the base weapon, I still have to keep a limit break going selectively. This is really close to my stream time. Well, that's not great. It's in fact excellent. Ho ho ho. Hmm, I had a nice big lunch. Oh man, these are all nice, but I'll go duration. Because it's more consistent. Well, I mean the Santa Here are the Serific Cry. It just hits so much. So it was so much of a struggle with just it. Strangely, a weapon that works better in groups rather than alone. Oh, right, I got a lot of crit damage because I got luck. Yeah, luck. Well, that should always happen, right? Because you're going to have max out Clover. Well, not always. You can Super Candy Box 2 Turbo it, but it seems unlikely to happen. I'll get that crit ever higher. Ooh. Mount one, yeah. Mount one, yeah. Oh, I grabbed the rosary on accident. Really would have preferred to save that for more dangerous times. Well, I don't think much is going to get through both Terrific Cry and BFC. It's a very spicy combination. Heck, they're on Heaven Sword. And what's gonna stop that? Not a bloody thing. Uh, any advantage to getting a candy box? Nope. Anima can't be candy box. Do not get that rosary. Or that one, or that one. Wow. That's more rosaries than you'd see on a normal one. Well, money, money, money. That's five rosaries on the field, isn't it? Or no, four. One, two, three, four. And then there's three more down below to take out the Reapers when they show up. More mount, more crit, more kill. I don't know if it's possible to get like double crits like the way you can in Holo Cure. Live yesterday. Jeez, that luck is going high. Mount. Another eyeball bites the dust. 800. Something's getting hit super hard here. So hard to tell. The big blasts, the big shurikens from the center cross effect. The ones that are really hit hard. Those are the ones that were hitting for ludicrous amounts of damage. They're based heavily on a mount, which, well, is horse and round time. Yay, more chess and Melise time, too. Yay. Melise. Hey, what does Duration even do for Serific Cry? 
Does it mean those light pools? Does it mean it go farther down on the ground? Kind of hard to tell. I'm hoping for a vacuum here. Closing in on getting my anima. Or evolutioner. What to call it? What is it called? I just call it an anima because Mortachio got the first one. And this is called the Mortachio, but... Uh, there's like an official name somewhere on the wiki. Or maybe if I just get the... Well, if I go look at the Malachite, I'll see the full name. Crit one. Oh, only one on... The thing. Mount. Doesn't... Won't actually affect the animal, huh? Because it's not counted as an evolution. Don't want that. Boogaloo is not bad. In fact, would I get any other benefit out of other arcana? Uh, no, in fact, that's going to be my best option. Then wait for the third, even though it really shouldn't be a problem with this many rosaries sticking around. And this much luck. What? Candy box. No, candy box, no. Might. Only two levels on KND box. Yeah, there was no way I could swing that around correctly. Three. And now, I am ultimate power. Carvello. Oh, just because it's correct. It gets to a lame level up. Oh, Rosary grabbed on accident. And why am I not fighting the Atlanteans? Sticking around these other things. Oh, hey, luck. Wow, that's so far away. How is it so far away? That was nowhere close to there. How far does it extend off screen? I was getting things all the way up there. I never went above, like, the bottom of this section. Huh. You know, I think I'm strong enough that I don't really need to worry about anything except maybe a stalker showing up. And, well, there will probably be a million rosaries in my wake. Yes, apparently. That's luck for you. Kashio doesn't have this kind of luck. 15 for 15. Good thing I'm on hurry. Hey, 1,000 damage hits. Nice. Those Atlanteans are gonna last surprisingly long. Still the... <laughs> well, excuse me. Hiccup time. Man, it's so slow. 12 move speed. That's only 10 base. You're actually negative move speed because I think... Well, I don't know how many wings gives. But should be more than 10. And 2% from... Getting some... Golden egg. Yeah, they're not surviving long against that. And follow the red carpet to more Atlantean. I'll conquer the Forbidden City. Hey, a rosary. Clearly, I meant that rosary over there, not the vacuum. You can't prove anything otherwise. And you just have to react to so much stuff so fast that your mouth outpaces your mind. I'm not even reacting to that much. Hey, more rosaries. At least when Drowner shows up, I'll be able to take care of him easily. And just think, why a luck, this would be even crazier. Heck, I wonder if that's the truest of true, true 
farming. Get Wicked Season, Greatest Jubilee on someone who has scale and luck. And just go crazy with the constant endless pickups and rosaries and orologians. In heck, I think Seraphic Cry increases the rate at which they spawn, right? And then get out of bounds to turn orologians into instant kills, too. So just endlessly spam screen clearing stuff. And that'll help, strangely, far, far less than what was being put out by Conchetta. Sure, it's Capella Magna compared to Gallo Tower, but still. Man. Early. Oh. Well, that's an idea for the future. Conchetto on a bit immediately grab all three arcana you need. Wicked Season, Boogaloo Illusions, and Sound Old Sanctuary. Get that area up to a thousand, clear out the whole dang stage immediately. Well, that is far, far in the future. Wow, at three minutes was six minutes. Nope, gotta get that arcana. Oh, good thing it wasn't a million miles away. Even if I think not particularly necessary, it's still better to have it than not have it and waste all this time. Also, on the reverse end, not a bad amount of amount. 130 amount. Or 130 area. Five amount is amount. Good. Be seven if I had duplicator. But then I wouldn't be hitting the whole screen with so much of this stuff. Alright, so the BFC. Nope, oh, I went way past that. Wow. Just hold right and journey west. Good. You have the map upside down. Or, well. Actually, I suppose I. I think it was that Japanese maps were upside down compared to their European counterparts. Yeah, that's a very nice candy box and all that. 2k hits on the big shurikens. And, well, as soon as I put the controller down, I will get blasted by something ridiculous like, say, hmm. Are they shooting out further with more area? Oh, it's so hard to tell. All the effects. That's my first for you. Why am I shooting out so many? Is it just the amount? I guess it is. Shooting out so many because of his incredible amount that it's basically looping into itself and keeping out a constant stream. With the cooldown. The duration would be even more ridiculous, huh? I mean, eventually there will be... Oh, hey, boss. Like, I loved you. Why did you turn to violence? Well, eventually there will be a vacuum. Which is strange it hasn't shown up already, but... Eventually there will be one. So, uh, Conchetta's idea. Uh, endless scaling and walk. Um, with Greatest Jubilee, so that's Cosmo, Kietha, or... Mina, hmm. That would be an option. Normally it goes super negative, but... 1 point in luck, 1 in might, 3 in growth, or maybe even just 2 in growth and 1 in curse. Ha <laughs> ha! Curse. Clearly the most necessary of all things. But I made her underpowered. And the video is doing one of my best. Or best looking. Because I mentioned being underpowered. I don't know why. Just does it like that sometimes. Funny. The shurikens take so long to fire out that their size has changed by time. And they come back. Or the next barrage goes. 
Hey, there are tougher enemies showing up. No one's tougher than the quirky white bear. And I have a bunch of power-ups, pickups around me too. But you can always expect demons. Okay, so the size of the shurikens don't actually increase, but the rate at which they shoot out on the screen does with area. Because that was clearly not hitting that far afield before. Alright, so... Possible weapon to get in Conchetta. Because its main weakness is it's focusing on the center area of where you are. If you can fix that and get that ridiculous damage going... Not a lot's gonna beat that. Seriously, it's 4k. I'm not even built that for that much damage. Oh no, it's death. Hmm, maybe they have gotten a bit bigger. Yep, a BFC completely trounced the specific cry in the end. Nice, nice, nice. Once more surprising ease, Conchetta has done 482. Tashio struggled to get 483 in fashion. Wow, that isn't close. And back to Capella Magna for 484. Ta da! Ta da! Write them up. And that brings it down to 1,448 more to go. Next up, it's going to be the other three next. Ramba, Usul, and Ambrojo to close out this section and then back to the top for one more wave. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.